Good morning, I'm Peter from Kiwi Bank and this is Markets in a Minute. Wow, what a night. So um, a lot to talk about, I'll try and condense it, but basically panic in the market. So whether we're overreacting here or not will remain to be seen. The Dow currently is off over 2,000 points, which is around 8%. Um, and now for one month, that puts it down 18% in just one month. So equity markets are continuing to get an absolute hammering here. Um, Europe was actually worse, so the stock 600, which is the 600 largest stocks in Europe, 595 of those 600 stocks were in negative territory. Uh, the index itself was off 8.5%. Some of the individual currencies fared worse. Um, Italian stock market was down 11% overnight in just one day. Uh, that takes it down around 21% over the month. So Italy have seen these massive containment measures out of centred around the Lombardy region, uh, which covers Milan and covers around about 16 million people with some of those um, other provinces they've extended it to where they're putting on these fairly um, drastic uh, travel bans, etc. Um, similar to what happened in China, which it, it, what you would argue has been quite successful in some of the containment policies. So unusual to see that in a uh, what you describe as a free market, I guess, of Italy. Um, other news overnight, it really started overnight, um, oil has uh, again plummeted, so we've got a uh, price war going on now, just to add to the mix. Saudi Arabia, regarded as a swing producer, have um, basically upped their production uh, quite dramatically. Uh, there's a lot of price discounting going on. Oil prices over is down uh, by more than 20%. Um, Brent uh, crude currently trading around $32 a barrel. So that's going to have some pretty large implications. You know, there are some positive implications, clearly, of lower oil through the gasoline prices. But uh, in the meantime, all those producers and a lot of those, um, those uh, equity stocks linked to oil prices have uh, clearly uh, headed lower. For the currencies, it's been crazy as well, so there's no respite there really. Um, so the Kiwi dollar yesterday had an unbelievable day. So we had what's referred to as a flash crash, led from the Aussie yen, a lot of retail money um, in that currency pair, and that saw that pair fall 8% um, during our time zone. It wasn't really trading, it was just gapping. Kiwi caught on uh, the back of that, got to a low of 60.14. Um, and made a high last night of 64.48. So we're seeing over 400 point range in the Kiwi. It opens this morning at around about 63 and a half. I won't put firm numbers on these things because they're moving all over the place. Um, and bond yields continue to plummet as basically it's a race to zero. Huge amount to cover. We'll probably leave it there. A bit more detail on first hand. I guess the takeout is the markets are a bit crazy. Um, liquidity is becoming an issue. Um, very outsized moves that you wouldn't normally see. Um, volatility indexes are sort of skyrocketing, um, very high levels. Probably time to tread quite carefully. Um, we're telling our clients to uh, make sure they don't over hedge as an exporter, even though they look quite attractive levels. And uh, you know, you've got to make sure that that cover actually will be needed. Um, and yeah, it's probably a time to just be as conservative as you can in the markets right now. Okay, thanks.